I'm Chase Briscoe, driver number 14 Ford Mustang for Stuart Haas Racing, and you're watching William Blackwell on YouTube. We are now just over a week away from the opening race of the 2024 NASCAR Cup Series season. I am not going to count the LA Clash, and people can say what they want, but I believe the LA Coliseum, as the Clash the last so many years, was a complete disaster, and NASCAR should never go back there again. They had free tickets on Saturday. I don't care if most of your fans that were traveling didn't get there on time. LA is a big city. And with a free attendance, a free ticket, if you will, there should have been more people showing up. It's clear and obvious. It did not work out. And that experiment is over. But the point is now, we head into Daytona. There are plenty of storylines to talk about. And one of them happens to be about Stuart Haas Racing. Because Stuart Haas Racing is going to look a whole lot different in 2024 compared to 2023. They even changed the logo for crying out loud. Last year in 2023, we saw Kevin Harvick in the four, Eric Amarola in the 10, Chase Briscoe in the 14, and Ryan Priest in the 41. We're gonna go step by step. Ryan Priest in the 41 last year started off Man, mediocre. And as the season went on, it kind of got worse, but he ended the season on a high note. And that's what led Stuart Haas Racing to keep him for another year. Chase Briscoe had a interesting start to the 2023 season, had a couple of good runs, and even had a three race top five streak. And shortly after that, had that penalty in Charlotte, which changed their mindset for each single race weekend last year they had to go out there and practically try to win the race and that was and it led them to have bold strategies which failed miserably and in the 10 car last year was eric amarola we didn't really know what was going to happen to him in 2024 there was people saying he would come back and some people saying he wouldn't and it uh, turned out he wasn't they parted ways with him and they brought in noah Gregson. i believe this right here was a great long-term solution but short-term maybe not the best because Gregson doesn't really have much experience in the cup side and the four car was Kevin Harvick and got replaced by Josh Berry so heading into the year they practically got two rookies and they gotta show the world what really Stuart Haas is and I don't believe this is a good deal for Ford because I believe Ford is gonna lose out this team and here's why because they're gonna see the numbers this year on track and I say Chase Briscoe is gonna be the team leader and he may snag a win or two, but it's not going to be due to the liking of Stuart Haas Racing. And they're ultimately going to move on from Ford. And there's so many other options out there on the market. We've all heard Tony Stewart wanting to go to Dodge one day, but they're not in the sport. The reality of that is it's not going to happen. We just got to move over it. So it's down to Toyota or Chevy. I believe Toyota is kind of built up right now a good little deal with Joe Gibbs Racing and 2311 Racing and Legacy Motorsports to the point where they're out the picture. It has to be Chevy. And I believe we're going to go into 2025 knowing, mark my words, we're in February. I think we're going to 2025 with Stuart Haas Manufacturer being Chevrolet. What do you think? Comment down below. 